Hey guys, Rob here and welcome back to Rob's Model Cars. Well, if you just recently watched the review of the new 118 scale Burago Ferrari Monza SP1, you will have seen in that video that I mentioned I was going to do a comparison between uh, that model and the BBR model. So um, that is exactly what today's video is going to be all about. So I'm going to do an absolute side-by-side -side comparison uh, and show you all the features between the Burago, 45 US uh, dollars, and the BBR resin uh, for around the 350 US dollars. So there's quite a price difference between these two models. Uh, so let's chuck them in the photo box and have a closer look at these two models. Okay, so the first thing I have to say with these two models is that the Burago is actually identical in size to the BBR model. Now, this is important because Burago in the past uh, actually made their models slightly smaller to fit into a standard size box. Uh, and when you sat those models next to other models, they were slightly smaller and shorter. Well, it's not the case with this Burago SP Monza. It is actually the same wheelbase, the same width front and rear, and the actual height of the model to the top of the cone behind the driver's seat is the identical height as well. So for those that are a little concerned about the size difference of this Burago, they're exactly the same size as the BBR. Now overall, obviously the BBR is a much higher quality model. The paintwork is much better. The finer details are much better. It has photo etch mesh and the carbon fiber is decals instead of textured plastic. So if we have a look at the front of the Burago, uh, the textured molded carbon fiber actually looks pretty good as does the solid grill in the front mouth section. Uh, that's not open, but it does look open. Headlight detail is okay, uh, but it's not as strong as the headlight detail on the BBR Monza you see here. Also, the BBR Monza has the photo etch mesh in the front grille. It also has real carbon fiber decals. And obviously it has some parking sensors in the side of the front bumper bar as well. Now, if we sit the models nose to nose, this is quite interesting. The shape is exactly the same. One thing I do notice it is the front grille in the Burago uh, is flush with the front of the bumper bar where in the BBR it actually sets back a little bit and also note the wheels the wheels are very close to each other um, and the brakes are obviously stronger on the BBR model uh, but really good effort by Burago on the details on the front of the model again if we look at the side profiles of the models they are identical side by side, and I think Burago have really pulled off the textured carbon fiber look on the side of the model. Um, but of course, the paintwork is silky smooth and the real carbon fiber decals uh, on the BBR model, uh, and just all the little refinements make it a better model. Now again, if we sit the models tail to tail, exactly the same height. Uh, proportions are exactly the same. Uh, textured carbon fiber on the rear diffuser versus real carbon fiber decal um, but notice the rear brakes on the Burago model now the uh, caliper is completely wrong it should be the much larger caliper with the integrated parking brake um, but good effort for a $45 model from Burago now if we have a look at the rear of the model uh, the Burago is pretty good again they do have a clear tail light in there whereas the BBR version is painted silver. Uh, the only real thing missing is the parking sensors in the Burago model um, but overall uh, look they're pretty close. As you can see here uh, just a sticker for the Ferrari horse uh, and textured carbon plastic all over the diffuser. The side mirrors are slightly larger on the Burago as well but if you have a look at the BBR version here, obviously just everything is finessed to a higher level. Now the driver's cockpit, this is what really separates the Burago from the BBR. Uh, I really don't like Burago's use of their textured plastic to make it look like a leather grain or something like that. 
um, and just areas that should be smooth plastic still have this ripply effect. If you have a look at the BBR version here, uh, much more accurate reproduction of the parts. These are of course molded in resin, not plastic, um, but the switch panel is much, much nicer as well on this uh, BBR version. If we have a close up at the steering wheel and details of the Biarago, this is where it starts to look really quite messy. Of course, this is a small little part, um, but it is pretty horrible. As opposed to the steering wheel and gear shift paddles on the BBR version, much better. And it's even got up-down decals on the gear shift paddles. So much, much better interior in the BBR. Again, the Burago seat uh, is pretty plain, and they just use rubber seat belts, which does not look realistic at all. The textured carbon fiber plastic is not too bad, but when you compare it to this BBR version, uh, there's no comparison. Uh, much more detail in the seats, cloth seat belt harnesses, molded stitching in the seat, and true carbon fiber decal. Now this is always a divisive argument between collectors. Uh, does it open? Does it not open? Uh, this is one thing that the Burago fans will like, that it is fully opening. And the detail is reasonably good in the engine compartment and in the cargo area in the back as well. Now, this Burago is a perfect base uh, for those that want to customize it and actually make it more detailed. Uh, Burago models are very easy to pull apart and they're very easy to customize as well. So, um, can you bring one up to the level of a BBR? Well, we'll see. I'm currently doing that with this Burago Monza. It's currently getting rebuilt and I'm going to try and bring it as close to the detail and level of paint finish as a BBR. But I have to say for a $45 model, I think they've done an exceptionally good job. So um, the conclusion would be that if you want a the most accurate, highly detailed model of the Ferrari, Monza SP1, uh, the BBR model win, wins hands down. Um, but if you can only afford the Burago uh, and you have some modifying skills, uh, this would make a fantastic base for a really high quality model. So uh, we'll see how my custom one turns out, but I hope that gives you a bit of an idea uh, of how good the Burago Monza SP1 is sitting next to a BBR. Ferrari Monza SP1. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I hope you subscribed. Make sure you click that bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. Uh, and give it a thumbs up as well if you like this video. But until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.